Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Brie Angelique and I'm so excited to finally be bringing you this Euphoria inspired makeup look. I have a lot to talk about in this video so we're gonna just dive right into it and not make the introduction super long. If you've been following along with my channel lately, you notice that we're taking a new direction. In an attempt to have my channel grow with me as I, you know, go through my journey of being a woman in these streets, okay? <laughs> my channel has been navigating away from simple videos with makeup tutorials and hair tutorials and diving into more meaningful content. I am so grateful for everyone who has subscribed to my channel. There are literally almost 14,000 people subscribed to my channel. And I know that you guys came here because you love my makeup looks. You love my energy, my personality. I have business videos on here. I used to do daily vlogs. You guys love my hair tutorials. And I am so, so grateful. However, I realized that part of the reason I was getting into a continuous rut and creative block is because I've kind of outgrown that type of content. I started my YouTube channel back in 2016 y'all 2016 that is what six years ago six years ago six amazing challenging creative years of accomplishments and makeup looks and just bringing you guys hella creativity and now I'm at the point where I want my channel to reflect where I am in my life that being said I would like to introduce you to the new space that I'm creating and it is for motivation. It is for makeup looks because you know, we still won't slay girl. It's for hair tutorials, but it's also for self building. Okay. Like we're going to be talking about different things. We're going to be talking about how to navigate through challenging situations. I'm going to be diving super deep into the realities of being pregnant because yes, girl i'm five months pregnant ain't that crazy five whole months of carrying around this baby which you know started off as like a weird looking little germ thing but we're gonna get more into that in later videos where i'm gonna be talking more about motherhood but i just wanted to reintroduce you in a formal setting to this new space that is brie angelique and that's part of the reason why i changed my channel from brie angelique beauty to brie angelique now for all my ogs you remember when my channel used to be brie angelique beauty and an extra extra point of loyalty if you remember when my channel used to be queen brown sugar cringe drop a white heart in the comments okay so i hope that that cleared up any confusion that you may be having about what the heck we're even doing on this channel anymore and <laughs> what the heck has been going on with the consistency long story short we are headed in a new direction and i am pregnant and i've been trying to navigate that space so now let's get into this look shall we let's talk a little bit about the makeup that's going on because if you've seen my post on brie angelique speaks you will know that this look is about to be freaking fire now, if you are not hip to the show Euphoria, I don't really know what you've been doing for the past like five years, but there's a show on HBO Max called Euphoria featuring Zendaya and a few more amazing actors. And this look is completely inspired by the characters Maddie and Jules. Getting a little bit into what Euphoria is and what it represents, um, Euphoria is you even explain what euphoria is to somebody who has never seen the show before um i guess you would just call it like a gen z degrassi where there's lots of sex lots of drugs lots of glitter rhinestones angst and amazingness i'm gonna insert a few pictures from a few of the seasons to like kind of show you the vibe that we're going for it's also heavily 90s inspired as far as the outfits and the makeup choices that have been selected for this show now before we get too far gone and talking about the plot and my favorite characters and how i feel about the plot progression i want to catch you up on the makeup look that i'm doing so we're not doing a traditional eyebrow as you can see i went for more of a soap brow look and once you've seen the pictures of the euphoria inspiration you'll understand why it is that i chose to do that the looks are very um unstructured in this show it's very free-flowing and just like effortless glam 
they go for glitter whimsical dewy face minimal um, foundation just the appearance of having a fresh face splattered with glitter bomb ass eyeliner and a juicy lip if you're used to watching my makeup tutorials you know that i play with color like i am no stranger to a good color look girl but when it comes to graphic liner and rhinestones and glitter i am not the girl for that <laughs> but i really had a lot of fun creating this look i even cleaned all of my makeup brushes went to ulta and did an entire haul and broke out my rhinestones from my nail kit for this look okay and i felt like the baddest bitch from the 90s now we are about to slide into my favorite characters and how i feel about the plot but before we do i want to let you know that in case you haven't been noticing all the products that i'm using are going to be literally popping up at the bottom of the screen um, throughout the video and also listed in the description box below Okay, Miss Girl, now let's get into the motherfucking tea, all right? My favorite characters, I've actually not taken the time to think about this so that it could be raw opinions in the video, but my favorite characters are, in no particular order, Maddie, Fez, um, the mom, <laughs> um, Cassie, and that other girl's mom, like her sister. Um, who else do I love? I can't say that I don't love Rue, but I can say <laughs> that Rue takes me through way too many emotions to be one of my favorite characters. Like, the inconsistency coming from Rue is too much for me. <laughs> now that I've told you who my favorite characters are, let me tell you who I cannot mother bleeping stand in this show. Number one, Nate. Number two, Cal. Number three, ashtray and if you have seen season two specifically the last like two episodes well no the last episode you know why i don't like ashtray mm. it's always tricky to talk about popular shows on my videos because not everybody has seen it like i know that i was obsessed and i was watching every sunday like a crackhead but i can't say that everyone that's about to watch this video has finished it like i don't even know if my god brother has finished it so i'm not gonna give any spoilers i'm just gonna simply say this i love the progression of the show i just wish that the season finale had been more something like I just I feel like I didn't have enough answers and maybe that's the point of a finale but it kind of felt rushed to me it felt like the entire season was a slow build all for the finale to come and be like boom 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 but in reality we have no freaking answers and no closure going off topic though while we're on the subject of amazing television shows drop a comment below drop a mop let me check my phone oh no Sorry for the background noise, but I need to check my phone real quick and see if there's a mop emoji. Oh my God, is there a mop emoji? Let's see, mop. Damn, there's no mop emoji. Is there a bucket? Okay, if you are watching The Cleaning Lady on Hulu, I need you to drop a bucket in the comments because baby, we need to talk about this. I need to talk about this. Like my best friends are watching that show. Me and Alicia were watching and we didn't even realize we were watching it. Like both of us, like neither one of us said anything to each other, but I was at her house one night before a flight girl and I saw her turn it on and I was like, you watch this too and then of course i had to put jasmine on but listen that is besides the point i need you to put a bucket emoji in the comments if you have seen the season finale and i'm definitely not going to get into this show on this video but girl oh oh i have so many things to say i have so many things to say okay but diving back into this makeup look did y'all see that eye okay i tried one of the little makeup hacks from the gram or maybe it was tiktok i really don't know but they were telling us to use a light concealer that like i would never ever use by itself um under my normal concealer and baby they did the damn thing 
Okay, so I have a question for you guys, and I know it may seem like I'm all over the place, but I'm literally working from a list of topics that I said I was going to talk about in this video. So we are on number five, okay? <laughs> So this question is for everyone who likes spiritual content, whether you like to watch oracle readings or tarot readings or charm readings, whatever it may be. If you are into spirituality, this is for you. A while ago, I was doing tarot readings on this channel and they got a lot of views. Like I would say for something that was completely left field from what I have been doing before, um, I got a lot of views on those videos. So my question to you guys is this. Have you noticed that I have a new YouTube channel for that? And if you don't, it'll be linked in the description box below and I will also pop it up on the screen. But it is called Sacred Tarot 434. And I'm asking this because I decided to make a separate YouTube channel because I didn't want to bombard my community and my subscribers with content that may make them uncomfortable. Spirituality, religion, all the things, they are not for everyone, right? But they are a big part of who I am. So I just wanted to know, and I have a poll up in the top right hand screen of the video with a little eye card. And I wanted to know how you guys feel about having that content on this channel, or if you would prefer for it to stay on Sacred Tarot 434. So please, please, please respond to that poll so I can get an understanding of how comfortable you are with that type of content i appreciate you guys responding to that poll and again it'll be in the top right hand corner with an i card um, the timestamp for that is 11 11 and i will have the timestamp linked in the description box below now sliding a little bit into my first trimester tea okay who jesus rubs edges my first trimester was devastatingly ghetto and <laughs> like don't get me wrong it was beautiful and i was very excited about being pregnant but it came with a lot of emotions and i'm gonna talk more in depth about my pregnancy journey in my pregnancy playlist um, I haven't uploaded the first video to that playlist yet, but it is coming soon. But it's been taking me a while to kind of gather my feelings and my emotions about how I've been feeling about being pregnant. So I'm currently 20 weeks and some change and that means I'm in my second trimester. So I feel like I've kind of processed. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm laughing because there's just so much that you don't know about being pregnant until you are pregnant because people don't talk about it and that is exactly why I plan on talking about it but anyway um my first trimester was very very interesting unfortunately I got COVID right around the time that I found out I was pregnant which was right around the holidays so that was a whole ordeal um I've developed acne pregnancy acne I have grown out of all of my pants um, <laughs> first trimester really tried me as a woman. I had to start taking prenatals every morning, which I am not a girl that likes medicine. Like it goes beyond the nastiness of medication. You know, every, pretty much every child hates medicine. And some of us grow into adults that hate medicine, but like, I don't even take pain pills when I'm in pain unless I'm like post-op or something so I had to adjust to that I had to start eating more because I was a heavy 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 weed smoker so like my diet consisted of snacks healthy or unhealthy and just mad water and juice <laughs> which is terrible now that I'm saying it out loud but hey that was me okay I was young wild and free anywho so I had to adjust my diet I had to increase my water intake um I had to just like <laughs> learn how to go with the flow which I always looked at myself as like because I'm an air sign so I always looked at myself as like a go with the flow take it day by day type of Libra but girl <laughs> I'm just so grateful that I have a best friend who has been pregnant before and not that long ago so she can relate and help me out and I cannot tell you how I can't even I can't even express how beneficial it has been to have a therapist while pregnant like oh my god like I can't 
imagine what this would be like if I did not have my therapist and not like on some I just started therapy because I'm pregnant and I'm freaking out but like I had already established a relationship with my therapist she's amazing and like I can't explain how beneficial that has been just having someone to talk to that understands understands me understands being pregnant because she had literally has a newborn like we had to go on hiatus from our sessions because she was on maternity leave like literally in November so like oh my god it's just been so amazing and don't get me wrong like I have my family I have Teddy who is super super great and I have Alicia like I said and my best friends like I have a, a strong support system but having a therapist while you're pregnant for the first time is unmatched that is all I'm going to say about my pregnancy journey in this video again if you are interested in that type of content there will be so many videos in my mommy playlist that are coming soon girl because listen <laughs> Like I said, this shit is ghetto. Sliding back into this makeup look for a hot second. Look at that eyeliner. Girl. Now, I just want to say <laughs> this slow-mo right here, bruh. Like, have you ever just had a, a moment with your eyeliner and you just kind of asking yourself, how did we get here? I got to say that. In recording this voiceover, I feel so good. I feel so good, y'all. It feels really good to be back. Like, I know that I have been uploading content, like, sporadically for, like, the last three to five months or whatever. Um, trying to shift my channel into the direction that I wanted to go in. But I think this is the first time that I've really felt, like, my original passion when I started my YouTube channel come back. I feel so good i feel refreshed and that could also be because i'm out of my first trimester and into my second trimester which i know i said i wasn't gonna talk anymore about the pregnancy so i'm done but like i just feel really 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 good this feels really good and i'm so excited and i hope that it is showing through in the video like not necessarily the filmed video um but definitely in my voice and in the voiceover so if you are feeling the voiceover please like this video and share with a friend somebody who you know is already subscribed to my channel girl because we are back and we back popping now since i am out of my creative rut i have something i want to ask your opinion for again how many of you all are on tiktok like how many of you are active tiktok users like you find yourself in bed scrolling through you find yourself throughout the day scrolling through you scroll through tiktok to take to pass the time away how many of you find yourselves on tiktok more than you find yourself on instagram i need to know okay so i'm gonna have two forms of polls i'm gonna have one poll in the i cards right now and then i'm gonna have another poll on my instagram brie angelique speaks because i have been thinking about making a well i have a tiktok let's be clear i have a tiktok and i have posted on it if you remember back earlier in the video i was like jamming and talking to my phone i was making a tiktok so, <laughs> so i have a tiktok but i'm trying to decide if i want to really use it and like get into it so i need your help again in the i cards please 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 vote on that poll or go on my instagram and vote on that poll because i want to know how many of you guys would like to follow my tiktok and be my supporters on there so please 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 once again hit that i card and let a girl know this flew by shout out to everybody who made it to the end of the video and don't forget to like and subscribe and share with a friend at the end and respond to the polls and drop all the appropriate comments okay if they apply to you <laughs> But I just want to say thank you once again for watching this video, still subscribing to my channel. I know how hard it is to be enthusiastic about creators when they are like inconsistent because it's like a relationship. We build a relationship with the people that we subscribe to and we look for their content and when it's not there, we get disappointed. Like I am a subscriber as well, okay? For example, I am looking for my girl Brittany Vaughn. I hope she's okay. She does um, makeup and true crime. Um, 
I would say she's similar to Bailey Sarian, but she's nothing like Bailey Sarian. But if you do like Bailey, you would love Brittany Vaughn, okay? So, again, I say all that to say I know how frustrating it is to just feel like you've been left out in the dust by your favorite YouTubers. So, I appreciate you so much for watching this video, liking, commenting, sharing, voting in my polls, following me on Instagram, and all of the things, okay? So, I just want to let you guys know and remind you that I have the mommy playlist starting soon. I'm also bringing back daily vlog, well not daily vlogs, but weekly vlogs. I am still gonna be creating hair content. I am literally doing passion twists with my sister tomorrow, so I will be filming that. And I will continue with the makeup looks and motivational content. And I love you guys so, so much. And that's it, okay, I'm gonna go, bye. Enjoy the end of the video.